Welcome back everyone uh, to the continuation of the series where uh, you and I play this uh, beautiful game called Dark Souls 2. Last time where we left off was uh, right here actually but we went through a couple of optional areas and uh, leveled up some of our uh, stats and uh, our Estus flasks and we talked to some NPCs at, at the start area and we've unlocked uh, we unlocked the uh, house right there with a the map dude we went through a lot of stuff so I think we should continue with the main uh, with the main stuff let's go back here I think this this uh, session will be some boss out of the way we'll get some bosses out of the way so yeah now the the place where we have to go is actually here and I died trying to break this wall and uh, I show you the boss I forgot to tell you the name of the boss it's called the pursuer by the way yeah now let's continue through this area die remember what I told you ow many stuff are happening uh, simultaneously in this game you're gonna die, don't worry about it. Take pot shots, then dodge. It's uh, the main rule of this game. If I if I have to name a rule, learn how to dodge and uh, be patient with the game. Well, two rules. Patience is a must in this game, so... Now, this plays over here. You see... This is actually a trap where you uh, step in this here and they snipe the shit out of you, then attack you. Uh, not only him. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Come get me. Come, everybody. I'm gonna give you the D you want. You deserve the D. Ow! Oh my god, I would have taken the D right there. So there's a four, four hollow men trap over here, along along with the ball ballista. If you uh, if you step here, you're gonna get sniped and die. Great Solaro is a sorcery for sorcerers. If you did not know, well, I just okay. It's basically magic. We keep, we picked up some souls. And that's a freaking fire bomb. I worried that this game is just trolling me right now. I wanted to blow the wall off without sacrificing myself, but you know, I could have bought some fire bombs, but who gives a shit? Okay. This chest over here is a uh, trap chest. There are actually two main types of uh, trap chests in this game. One filled with poison when if you stay in the fog, you get poisoned and lose HP. Uh, little by little and uh, another trap where uh, when you open the chest uh, crossbow shoots at you in uh, three or four different directions and you have to dodge it or else you'll die this is a crossbow you just have to do this the angle they shoot it's everywhere but if you can come across like you know like this or in the other way like this like that you can dodge them if you get shot oh well you need to learn how to dodge I guess it's not everyone that can do it let, this door here wait let me just this is uh, why I bought the uh, Pharos Lockstone from the lady from before but I was not going to open the uh, the house so yeah I bought one then I found one in the house of the uh, dude of the map dude we use the Pharos Lockstone in here and uh, a face appears on the wall you hit the face and a uh, secret has been revealed to you now the th about the traps I said earlier there are two main traps and then it's a third one that I think you will only encounter the third one once in the game if you follow a story but I will explain that later that ex if you open the chest it explodes basically you go boom 
but you you I think you will not die by that trap if by the explosion I mean okay that net slab that's pretty useful that's uh, used to upgrade your weapon to plus uh, I 15 or 10 I don't remember that the last upgrade you need a titanite slab and the clarity ring now this is a ring what the, this ring does it raises your stamina recovery basically the uh, we have some particle effects on our body yay I don't like them but I will not turn them off when I use stamina it boosts your recovery of stamina that's pretty useful but I think that uh, level 1 is actually not that good but it still helps you can get it uh, you can get a level 3 one if you keep playing the game at uh, 3 game well no 3 game new game plus 2 I think you can get a level th 3 cross ring or uh, or before I don't remember actually now this door you cannot open but hit the door a couple of times knock knock motherfucker open the fucking door open the door then they open the door for you aren't they beautiful aren't they great pocket this was meant to be a trap too but uh, if they open the door I mean you can hear them behind there doing their th ow I forgot about the uh, third hit jump attack oh my god the frames I should have it should have been a hit to the first one too but whatever you gonna heal? Why not? This room contains another ring. Link? Ring. If I remember correctly. Yay, it's the life ring and the large titanite shard where I explain what I do. You basically upgrade your weapons with titanite shards. Whatever has the name titanite, it upgrades. Don't worry about it. Now the life ring. It raises your maximum HP. Why not, right? You see that little uh, we have left? Yeah, that we've raised our HP, let's get the hell out of this area this area wants to kill you basically if you don't know what you're doing, you'll be dead you can say I'm not using my shield, I should have been using my shield but if you're uh, I've explained this countless times before when I started this playthrough what the fuck just happened okay uh, if you want to go to have a I mean easy time with this game use a shield that not I cannot stretch this enough that's a blue wooden shield we pick up we we've, we've picked up earlier it's a better shield than the one we're using I do not want to use a shield it's easier for me that way now this dude let me talk to him hello there traveling all alone in these treacherous times well I hope you have a very good reason oh hog who am I to judge? <laughs> My name is Pate. I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt, you might call it. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. Oh yes, you be cautious if you go any further. There's treasure in there for certain, but the entrance locks from behind. I saw the same design earlier. And it's the same contraption, I'm sure. I was with this warrior, you see, and he insisted that he go inside first. <laughs> the rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loot for himself, but it trapped him inside. I still have the gent's ring. I do hope he wasn't harmed. I'll leave this one to you. I'm worried about what might be inside. So... Pete, our friend, our friend Pete, <laughs> my friend Pete, I'm, I'm gonna wanna, <laughs> oh, fuck. so this dude basically uh, is full of shit, he's a liar, when I step into this door he's gonna trap me inside, this fucker is gonna trap me inside, and all, uh, he said something about a friend earlier, well, uh, he trapped the friend, his friend inside and he stole the ring from, from him, yeah, I'm not gonna go there just yet, I'm gonna go through the... Oh, I forgot about... I forgot about this item over here. It's a green blossom. Green blossom raises your... 
stamina recovery too temporarily though now this area over here we're gonna go here first break these break these kill you break these these actually do not contain anything I just wanna break them for shits and giggles by the way and when us when the, the lady from uh, past episode said about something about giants and trees and stuff like that well this this uh, tree over here was a giant with a giant uh, giant butt hole in his uh, in the place of his face basically he's a giant butt hole and uh, yeah he was turned into a tree poor giant oh well they're pain in the ass to fight actually later on in the game spoiler alert so at uh, this area you got uh, some uh, friendly friendly soldiers up there trying to kill you everything here explodes and uh, it's gonna kill you if it explodes so this turtle over here it's gonna kill oh my god run run holy shit this turtle over here is difficult too the idea behind this, uh, the, this area was to uh, just you know take the turtle and blow the shit out of it let them blow the shit out of of the turtle but I got caught up in it too so I'm gonna go up there uh, in a little while uh, the I killed the turtle basically all you have to do is approach the turtle then step back let let it ex uh, finish the combo and uh, you you stop here a couple of times and go back again back off again that's the pattern everyone has a pattern like he just did three attacks you see and the third one then we go in and uh, kill him we cannot get through that door ju just now we're gonna have to get a key later on we got a life gem and a homeward bone homeward boards I've explained them before I will explain it again um, they teleport you to the last bonfire you've rested at this uh, dude is gonna come back to life this is an amber herb it raises your uh, spells by two I guess you you have a minimum amount of spells you can use minimum well you get plenty okay you got 20 uses per spell sometimes or more when you use uh, an amber herb when you run out of uh, uses of a spell it uh, recovers half of it the giant sword here is a uh, kind of a tricky situation you see that dude over there yeah I'm gonna show you a way to uh, get rid of this trap go to your inventory if you picked up throwing knives just use them he's gonna come down oh my god not you no why I fucked up <sighs> well welcome to Dark Souls <laughs>